Brett, you ready? Can you, can you save me? It. Let's do it. All right. Was, was that English? Yeah. I'm going to catch it. The yes. <laughs> Live from Austin, where the lovely sounds of summer cicadas let you know it's gonna be a great night. Now put your hands together in an appropriate manner, because here are your hosts, Brian Rushwood and Justin Robert Young! Oh, oh, I got a new bit. Oh, I got a new bit. All right, are you ready for it? It's my new bit. Everybody calm down. Everybody calm down. Everybody bring it down and follow me. Happy Happy birthday! birthday. Woo! Happy Happy birthday! birthday. Woo! Happy birthday (laughs) to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Bryce. Happy birthday to you. What's up? You're getting older now. I'm getting older <laughs> now. But but get oh, I, I'm told we're not done yet either. Oh! <laughs> Good kick. So Bryce is getting, uh, is that a cake that we have for Bryce? Uh, this is like a custom happy birthday cake. Uh, cookie and there are some some beautiful cupcakes over there's here. There's more cupcakes and by the way we, we have what has just been delivered will ruin the rest of the show. Yeah. <laughs> because we have an insane amount of Taco Bell that has been yeah! delivered into the studio. So this show is going to be switched like shit. It's going to sound like shit. Holy We're all going to be holy eating holy like <laughs> It's an insane amount of Taco Bell, and it almost just got spilled on the floor. <laughs> just definitely approved them for sports. Someone, like someone get me bag. a taco. Someone taco me. Taco <laughs> Someone go in there and yeah, taco yeah, 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 Where are my tacos at? All right. I got some cinnamon. Twist. It's Alex over there, right? Yeah. Right. Alex, Alex over here yeah, helping yeah, us out. Uh, taco us up. There we go. Uh, 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 Bryce, Bryce, before you start, let's go ahead and get our first topic. All right. Our first topic. Win, Brian. God damn it. I remember during the meeting we said this would be what we said we were going to say, and I said it'll be funny because I won't remember it. Well, this, And it's funny because this is actually not even that topic. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, over the weekend, someone on our uh, Reddit, reddit.com slash r slash diamond club, yes. uh, posted uh, a video saying, I want to see Brian do this. Um uh, what 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 do uh, well, I guess what, what do we think it is? <laughs> I guess we all uh, all three of us know what it is. I I I don't know that. No I no no. Do. I know. I I don't. I don't. I just want to know when. I want you to watch this and then you tell me when you're gonna do this. Okay. So let's just see it. Let's just see Either, what's happening. When when in the future? This is not something I've already done. It is not something you've already done. Although okay. here's your Doritos Locos taco. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Bring, sorry. All right. We got a cup back. I need my taco. We got a clip here on the right. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> oh, shit! Yeah, push up some water. Uh, 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 <laughs> this is, I am certain, the way that Justin remembers me barefoot water skiing when we did the Discovery VR thing. But uh, but also, like, not for nothing, That's uh, uh, there, there's a world champion barefoot water skier named uh, Paul Stokes who yeah. we brought down to uh, my parents' place outside of Houston back when they lived down there. And uh, my dad, like, legit learned how to barefoot backwards and, wow. and go on one foot backwards. Sure. Now, in this case, you see somebody, you know, he spins around on one foot and does push-ups in the whole nine yards. When? But, uh, when for you? When are you going to do it? When are you going to do it? When are you going to do it? When this summer are you going to do it? I'll tell you what, man. The right time to ask me is when it's 104 fucking degrees outside. So soon. How Dude, about that? There we can go. you do it? I mean, I could do the push-ups part. I, I don't know that I can get do the flipping around from two front facing facing uh, two front facing feet to backwards to push-ups. Yeah. But uh, just do what uh, this guy does. Th- Look, just put your leg there. 
All right. <laughs> Just put your foot. That, that put your it arm there. Seems fucking easy. The the push up part I think is fairly easy. Yeah. It's getting to that and then coming back that is the skill Look part. It, he doesn't and, even do both legs. He just puts the one. Oh he just God. puts the one. I, yeah, okay. I don't, I don't want to take anything. <laughs> you know what? Let's hire this guy. Let's do an episode all about it. It'll be amazing. No, I want you to do it. <laughs> okay. I want you to do it. You humiliated me in VR. <laughs> you right. humiliated me in VR fucking seven years ago. And right. now you'll eventually pay for your crime. Bryce, I barely remember this moment, but if you're able to find it, it's an old Discovery VR video in which me and Justin Robert Young do barefoot water skiing. I said this story a million times. I will say it again for anybody new. Brian... And I get approached to do sponsored content for the all new Discovery or the, the all new Rav4 yeah, hybrid, hybrid from Toyota. Uh, move forward or different, one of them. Uh, and so Brian's like, like, oh, I don't know. We can do a couple things in uh, Austin. I don't know. Ah, off the top of my head, I mean, there's like, you know, we could go to, there's a drum circle in Silica Park. We could do that. And then, like, I, I don't know. I mean, if we have time. I mean, maybe like barefoot water skiing or something like that. And they're like, oh, yeah, these are all good. And then we're like, go. I get no heads up from Brian that he's a fucking professional at this. <laughs> so Brian's out there. Like, I first try to go. And the guy who's doing it is this real hard ass. And he's like, like, uh, hey, you got to go and you got to hold on to it. And you got to put your feet down and blah, blah, blah. And I'm trying to do it. And I can't. I suck. And this man is is bullying me. He is, he is like calling me soft. He's calling me a piece of shit. Seriously? Yes. Fuck that, fuck that guy. I know. You can't say that shit. Hey, you're pa you're paying good like, money. Brian's like, well, I guess we're all failures at this. Let me give it a try. <laughs> and he's doing tricks and backflips and he's doing his taxes on the water <laughs> and like <laughs> doing a bunch of shit I didn't even know. And I just realized, okay, my job on this is to fail comically. And so <laughs> this is me failing comically in <laughs> VR. I don't remember you filmed. Hang on. He's hanging on. You're holding on to a pole while a boat goes really fast. It's kind of like a pull up. Yeah. Oh. Wipe out. Batman! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Anyway, so you have to do a push-up on the water, or else you owe me $100,000. <laughs> you know what? I, I now know our next bit. <laughs> Cheers. Dose. Bryce. Bryce, uh, pick a topic where Brian doesn't need to talk. Our next topic! <laughs> Brett, off script. So uh, during the green room, we successfully had Lacey figure out that you are a voice actor, yeah. uh, but you went off script? Yes. Well, I went no script. No? What's the difference? Well, off script means there was something written down that I had to say, and I then said something else. Yeah. In this case... Can I pause this conversation? Can somebody just grab me a random Taco Bell thing? <laughs> as long as there's fire <laughs> sauce with it? Yeah. So Brett, so so they so there was just no. What does that mean? There's no script. That means uh, that in this case, my character didn't need to have words written down uh, to to put forward the thing that was being seen on script. Came so on. so so you were like you were like the guy with the cowbell in the cowbell sketch. Like they're just like explore the space. You got to do whatever you want. Uh, for this character, I did get to explore the space, can, and and can, it, we're just beginning. That's gotcha. the right part. Can I'm can you confirm or deny whether or not the the role was one of the NPCs in the the new Zelda thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 no, that's not what's happening at all. That's <laughs> okay, not. But it could. I mean, I'm I'm always available. You're available. So so you show up and you ask for a script and they're all like, nah, bro. So this is what's fantastic about this. I didn't have to show up somewhere. I just had to walk in my closet and connect to the internet. And I was ready to go. We were ready to record. It's dangerous. Just ask R. Kelly. <laughs> I was trapped in a closet. Yeah. Uh, and uh but for a good reason instead of a bad reason. You were making money. 
I was making that key. Mm-hmm. So you're alone in a closet and a quiet voice whispers into your ear and it says... It says, yo, man, <laughs> we're going to record now. And I was like, great. What are we going to record? And he says, well, this character that you're doing. But here's the funny thing. The way it's done in Japanese, you're going to do it whatever way you want. Did, do, does he play for you the Japanese version? Yes. Which, um, mm, understand that this is a safe space and that nobody will ever record or repeat we anything you're We have no Japanese about to say. listeners. Sure. How did it sound to you? Uh, it sounded uh, not like what I wanted to do. Well, specifically, like what? Describe, describe what, 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 okay, what, what, so this, what, what the this take is was. A, this is a cat character. And I just want to say, this is a double-decker taco. <laughs> right. <laughs> it, this is, this is a, a cat character, which we've kind of played around with in previous uh, his previous shows, but uh, in this one, uh, this character is named Moogie, and he is a a giant cat that is a space pilot. Ooh. What 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 is your motivation in this scene? Uh, mostly, it's he's trying to hold on to the heroines of the story, and uh, and he 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 accidentally lets go. Oh. Okay, so there's some scatological humor in this moment that he's trying to hold on to somebody. And then he poops himself. No, yeah. no, it's it's really just... <laughs> I, I, I literally don't know if you're joking. No, 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 no. no, no, no. It, it, it's a space adventure. It's a space yeah. adventure. Yeah, the cat pilot's kind of a Chewbacca. Yeah. And and the heroines are being sucked out of some yeah, like they, hole or something. And okay. in a... He's the big you know, on, Chewbacca man. Hold on, hold on. Hold on for dear life. Yes, yeah. I will. I've got you, but all without any lines. Are you Just are you legally allowed to recreate your impression? As a of matter what of fact, like? I sign no NDA. So oh. the question, the answer is yes. I can totally talk about this show. Okay. So what kind of scene work can we set up? Um, space. Space. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, a, a hole in the side of the ship has been blown out, and the two characters, the two heroines, are holding on to each other, and Moogie is holding on to them. All right. So All right. Let, let's start from right before that. Right. We're now, can get, I? We're, can... Yeah. We're we're, we're going to get through the hole blowing up. Yeah. And then Moogie's yeah. going to show up. All right. Yeah. So, I, so, I... so you are, are you there before, or you come in after? I come in after. Great. All right, so, okay, so your perfect. cue to come in will be when the hole blows open. Right. right. Uh, listen up, Gertrude. I've been meaning to talk about your schedule reports. I noticed that uh, you took a holiday on last Thursday, uh, and it was unqualified per our agreement. On yeah. The- Fantastic. You- yeah. I, uh, you, so, you don't seem overly concerned with any of this, Gertrude. I'm a little bit upset. No, I, I mean, I, I, I know. Your captain. I, I, know I know we have to make it to Deltron 4, but. Yes. I just want to let everybody know yes. that a, Dori- er, a, a Doritos Locos Taco from Taco Bell is not only affordable, but <laughs> also delicious. Exactly. Well, well, I think we all know that. That's why both of us are eating the same one right now. Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, please talk. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm so pissed off that you just ate my taco, bitch. I'm going to blow a hole in this motherfucker. You know what? I don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> I've lost every fucking will to live. <laughs> ah! Ah! Boom. Ah! <laughs> ah! There seems to... Hold on, hold on. There's an alarm You're going You're denying up. our scene work. <laughs> ah! <laughs> we're, we're hanging out the end of the ship. Ah! I'm holding on. I'm holding on. I hope literally anybody shows up. <laughs> Oh, and now my character shows up. God yes. damn it. <laughs> and he reaches out and grabs you and he sounds a little bit like this. Oh. 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 Uh, oh. Thank, thank you, Moogie. I'm sorry you died. No, you died. <laughs> we died. Oh, we died. But in the cold I'm... reaches of space, at least you have the last bit of my Doritos Sloco taco <laughs> to keep you warm. He fucking housed it. He housed your taco, Justin. Man. Fucking asshole. <laughs> Man. Now, now in, in the Japanese. He fucking obeys that scene work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Comes to eat my taco. This motherfucker's del close. In, in, in the del Japanese, I can recreate what, how it is in the Japanese. Okay, okay go, go ahead. It, it sounded a little bit like this. Meow. <laughs> meow. 
I'm not kidding. <laughs> yeah. Take that, Japan. Ain't these motherfuckers even seen a Groot? Nope. Damn it. I'm going to get a Groot over there. <laughs> you know what they need? They need them some Groot. That's what it they is. They need. Well, I mean, yeah. Like This is like an archetype in science fiction, right? The, yeah. the powerful but monosyllabic to non-communicative char- alien yeah. character, yep. right? Uh, hey, Bryce, do you have another story? We do have another topic. It's a scorcher. <sighs> you know what I hate? What do you hate, man? I hate all these wimpy motherfuckers all be all like, Austin, it's 104 degrees today. <laughs> and then they're all like, Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, you're that character. <laughs> all right, Brett. Me and you, me and you, I'm Gertrude, you're Stein. I'm Stein. <laughs> yeah. Cool. All right. There's a Mexican pizza in there? Uh, there was. <laughs> not a Mexican pizza. Uh, 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 Gertrude, uh, uh, this Doritos Locos Taco. No, no, your cue is the hole blowing out. There okay. we go. Yeah. Uh, 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 Gertrude, this Mexican pizza is going to save the station. Yes, and I think I'm just going to enjoy the rest of it. I hope I don't hit this button. Oh! I'll save you, but it will be 104 degrees here in Austin. Oh, you didn't even grab me. <laughs> no. No, you just I, let us fly out. I, You're useless. I, I couldn't be bothered. And good they good luck, you two. <laughs> You're right. They do suck. <laughs> that, um, that person does suck. No, what's up with people complaining about the heat, man? You'd think that we didn't live in Texas. Well, uh, uh, part of it is I think that uh, people who are here now were not here long ago. Where... I know. I <laughs> like me and you. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Old Austin veterans like me and you, we know what it's like. <laughs> to, These to, fucking newcomers. To, holy don't, shit. What are they going to do? Don't make me hey, turn peel off you. your California plates, you <laughs> cucks. Welcome to Texas. <laughs> don't, don't I mean, me. they're out here on the fucking Reddit talking about shit. <laughs> Moving to South Austin, ruining the neighborhood. <laughs> like, I, all right, me all and right. you fucking know it. I'm looking around and I'm realizing I literally am the single human who's lived in Austin the longest in this room. That's okay, true. some of us been here That's a decade. Annalise well, has been here yeah, for a while. Oh yeah, you know. Only gone for five years. Exactly. Yeah. I was still in Texas. Ninety-two. I was born in eighty-two. Yeah. But yeah. What? Why do you? you it, it, there can be a lot of people who have been here a long while. Uh, yeah. Born, born and raised in Austin. Born, born born and raised raised in, in Austin. Yeah, that, that, oh. that's that's highest complaining. If, right. it, if, it, if, it, if it were born in Texas, then I would win. Yeah. Uh, well, because probably. Yeah. You were born in Texas, I was born and in I Texas. was not. But yeah. the important thing Wait, is. But you're not native, Brian? Uh, uh, well. Uh, where were you from? Nobody remembers. <laughs> all right. Nobody yeah. remembers where I no, was born. No, we interviewed your dad. Where did well, your dad uh, say? Uh, it was at. I think it was in. <laughs> <laughs> yup, it's the California alarm. Everybody, boo, boo. <laughs> you said the word. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I know that. It, I wish we had slime <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Late. Late 90s, we went 100 days with every single day being over 100 degrees, and uh, 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 we, we got real far. We got, like, uh, first, what, week or two into uh, June before all of a sudden the heat It was gorgeous, us. yeah. All yeah. through May. May was really, really nice. Yeah, and, no, it's definitely 104 June. degrees right now, and yeah. literally none of our ACs can keep up with the heat. It's uh, We're all sweating inside right now and in the evening. I mean, wait, what do you mean all of our ACs? Yeah. What? My AC's doing great. Mm. I think he meant all of his ACs. I mean, I, I meant the ACs that matter. Yeah. Oh, wait. What? What, are you, what are you doing to these ACs? You know what? Nothing to these ACs. But I do have a trip planned for later tonight. Really? Yeah. To where? To your house to uh, ruin your AC. Why? Why would you do such a thing? I don't know. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> Are you like like the embodiment of angry Texas uh, 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 pride that, <laughs> that doesn't like other people moving here? Let me just say that my dad was a cat and my mother <laughs> was a cat. <laughs> Whatever your character was. Yeah. Moogie. 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 You don't yeah. remember Moogie? No. 
That was, that was one full segment ago. It was. Yeah. It was. Uh, uh, point being... Uh, it's hard, though, but, but you, there's a lot of bitching. There's a lot of complaining. There's a lot of, there's a lot of carping. Well, and on top of that... Carping diem is what you might as well call r slash <laughs> Austin for all the complaining they're doing during the day. I don't, I don't want to make a thing about it, but we yeah. have a mutual friend uh-huh. who's very delicate about the heat. Yeah. And I suggest- Wouldn't it be ironic if it was my last name? <laughs> I'm just doing an impression based on what he said. It could be anybody. It could be anybody. It could be anybody in a sport yeah. coat. <laughs> it could be anybody wearing that tartan. All of my sentences have three parts. A noun, a verb, and damn, it's hot! <laughs> I suggested to our mutual friend that yeah. maybe maybe he could just My <laughs> podcast is the political or I can talk about how hot it is. <laughs> <laughs> I suggested that maybe maybe a bunch of window units would be like here's an idea just make it cold inside your house. In his house, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How do you take that? As though I just handed him the secret scrolls of the ancients and unlocked a secret that had never been revealed to him. That anyone. he could just go to Home Depot and solve his fucking problem in he like 11 literally, seconds? He literally promised that he was going to go to Best Buy immediately after that. Yeah. Uh, I don't think he did. I don't think so either. Yeah. So, uh, oh, I'm sorry. This unnamed person didn't have any sort of air conditioning or central air in there. He's gotta. He had and, a responsible amount of air conditioning. I see. Not so much as to ruin the earth and uh, contribute to the fossil fuel global warming difficulties. Uh huh. His dog has cancer. Oh. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. <laughs> what a new part of the lore for this totally fictitious <laughs> character. Uh, it, 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 hey, was it on, because on, of the AC? On, on, an, on another note, uh, we got a live show coming up. Oh, hmm. oh, 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 oh. Uh, our live show is What's June the 30th. What's the app? Let me, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it to everybody. Everybody. G I G S T A N is the app. You the can app look it store. up. Uh, yes, you can buy it uh, or get it on, get the app on the app store. Make sure you get the regular one, not the pro one, because that's the one that we organize the event on. Uh, Great Night Live in Austin at the Sound Space at Captain Quacks. It's in South Austin. It's a fucking amazing venue. You guys are going to absolutely love it. And it's on a Friday night, June 30th. Woo. That means that, like, we can actually have people from, from around Texas. I'm talking Dallas, Houston, San Antonio. Come, all ye faithful, all the way down to Captain Quacks on June 30th. And I am here to tell you, confirmed. Oh. Hector, this motherfucker, for being a dick about the heat. You can personally bully Andrew Heath. Oh, I'm confirming him. We're, we're, I'm gonna have to text him after, but <laughs> <laughs> I am confirming him right now on the show. Can, he is going to be there live. Can we maybe set up a dunk tank uh, filled with ice cubes? <laughs> and all he does is complain about Austin's weather, and everyone like like throws tacos until finally he drops in. I would love. To it would be really, really funny if our first show at this venue, we immediately put a dunk tank on stage and then <laughs> filled it with several hundred gallons of water. <laughs> that would be pretty great. Uh, Gig stand. Uh, G-I-G-S-T-A-N. Yes. Right. Uh, uh, so, so go, go, go. Uh, get your tickets. More special guests to be announced next oh. week. Uh, oh. But this is going to be a great show. And Bryce... Can we confirm Bryce led trivia? So uh, if everybody yeah. gets there early, we do Bryce led trivia. Yeah. You can be part of the trivia update yourselves. What do you think uh, the the grand prize should be for Bryce trivia? Are you willing to part with something that you find dear in your house? And don't say the rest of the leftover Taco Bell. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a big bag. Uh, please understand that this will be the last day you have superpowers. <laughs> um, uh, it would be very fun. So the trivia update, which we do in the bones, is because I go and do trivia. 
What if what if I gave one of the gift cards? What if I gave him a gift? Yes! A Taco Bell gift card? You will get... No, no, no. Oh, so they, they won the gift cards. <laughs> yeah. So no, you know that to at least the winner of the trivia, the winners of the trivia, that you'll have to give away where your secret trivia hole is. Oh, right? eh, you know what? That Hey, you know what? If you, if you earn it, you earn it. All right. So there it. we go. You will get... Bryce's second-hand <laughs> hard-won <laughs> trivia gift card if you come down on June 30th to Soundstage at Captain Quack's. Uh, we're going to do Bryce trivia at, at the beginning. That'll be at 8, sharp at 8. And then around 9, we will commence the podcast. But I'm telling you, get there early. I cannot wait for you guys to see this venue. It is amazing. Got I got to do an hour of trivia? Oh, I got to start writing questions. <laughs> How? Wait. Trivia is literally bar trivia is designed to kill time and sell beer. Yeah, but uh, okay, uh, uh, we'll do an hour of it. It's an hour. How <laughs> long were you <laughs> assuming trivia was going to last? I thought it was like a pre-show bit for like an hour, 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> we're gonna have to at least do a half hour. Okay. Half hour be able to, and also we can lie. We can say it's gonna start at eight, and then it doesn't. That yeah, yeah. We can. like like ain't you never been in show business, kid? <laughs> You of course, you always lie and say the trivia's at eight. <laughs> I learned that in the cat skills from Uncle Milty. Gig Stan is the <laughs> app you want to look up. Uh, you'll find a great night right there. Please, please, please buy tickets, buy tickets, buy tickets. It's going to be amazing. Yes. Uh, do we have any other topics? We do have some more topics. Pharma on your block. I got a story here. Go. I got some international news. Uh, the from we're not, not the, we're not laughing at that one. We're not doing that one. We're not laughing at it. Okay, we're not doing that. It's one. not fun. It's no. not fun or funny. No, it's fine. not fun or funny. No. What? It's not. What? No. The one with the remote control. Mm. Can't open it. We what? don't know where they are. No. Not funny. Oh. Yeah. Mm. A lot of people on the internet are laughing about it. Not us. Okay. Nope. Not us. Not a single titter. Not a giggle. Not a Literally sniggle. don't remember. The nope. Okay. Nor will okay. you. Okay. Nor will right. you. That's okay. Hey, Bryce. We all live in a topic we're not going to laugh about. <laughs> That's right. We're not going to laugh about. So oh, I found. Oh, my God. I just. Re what the fuck, bro? Oh, my God. <laughs> yep. Yep. Not going to laugh at it. We decided before right. the show. Yeah. We had a meeting. Gonna do a whole and we thing decided about it. that we're not gonna laugh at it. We said we said Brian, we're about it. We're and not, only one of us actually did so, Bryce. We're not us. gonna laugh at it. Uh, uh, so I have a different story. Near, here. far, we're <laughs> not gonna laugh at it. Jesus Christ. We're not gonna laugh at it. We're not gonna laugh. Not. So in Vancouver. We're responsible. <laughs> in Vancouver. The tragedy. Uh, you know, uh, you've heard of. Uh, uh, the son went to a Blink 182 concert. Not funny. Look that up. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, you, you, you know drug stores, right? You've heard of a, yeah. a drug store. Yeah, they sell drugs, don't they? Mm -hmm. uh, well, uh, a man in Canada thought the exact same thing. Jerry Martin, 51 years old, opened up a store back in May uh, called the Drug Store. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I said that wrong. Uh, he <laughs> opened up the Drugs Store. The drug store. That's right. Uh, he sells cocaine, crack cocaine, <laughs> heroin, methamphetamine, what? MDMA. <laughs> so, sorry, go back to that picture. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> cocaine, crack cocaine, heroin, methamphetamine, and MDMA. That's right. 100% fentanyl free, tested supply. That's right. Um, he was arrested immediately because yeah. you can't do that. Um, but I just love the idea. Like he had to design. He had to design the whole bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. You love this? <laughs> yeah, I mean it is. And it's his birthday. It is your He's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> but it. By the way, you know what the fucked up thing is? Huh? Bryce's birthday is in November. But he has so many powers right now. <laughs> he manifested it in the middle of June. <laughs> fucking crazy <laughs> at, where at, did at you the, see at, this i saw this uh on vice news on tiktok covered this because of course they did so wait so he takes a sign out and takes a picture and puts it on instagram and then the local pd does it or does he do it like in front of the police department like because because 
I, I'm not going to tell you how, but there are many people who are doing this even to this day, <laughs> but they just don't have a sign and we don't know about it. So uh, he opened the, the drugs store uh, on downtown east side of Vancouver uh, because... Uh, so he rented a space. He was operating this out of a mobile shop. Sure. Okay. That Again, I know a... I've heard of a lot of people <laughs> who are doing We go exactly now to this. Florida, man. Florida, exactly man, this. live on the scene, yeah. commenting on saying, Canada, man. Like, <laughs> they may or may not even have signs. Like, probably not that big. Like, you can't read it from the street. But like the, it seems like the only thing different between this guy and every other drug dealer <laughs> is he made two large, larger signs. <laughs> They're big. See, what I love is is he had to. These are professionally printed signs. Someone designed these in Photoshop and said, "Yeah, I'm okay with what we're doing here." Yeah, this makes I think sense. I think it's probably him, and he just took <laughs> it to a FedEx Kinkos and said, "Oh, it's a hilarious joke for my brother's birthday." They just got him to do it the way you can get Chat GPT to say fuck that so, shit. So, so, so <laughs> did just, did did the police actually find drugs there, or was it a hilarious joke? Yeah, no, there were drugs there. Oh, okay. <laughs> they got, they got his ass. Turns out, when you have a side that says McDonald's, there's McDonald's there's in there. There's a Big Mac. Yeah, <laughs> you can get some nuggies. So Martin told Vice News he opened the store because he wanted to give people drugs that had been tested and were free from adulterants like fentanyl. Um, he said he was selling people a maximum of 2.5 grams of each drug with serving sizes as small as a point or one tenth of a gram. Under British Columbia's decriminalization policy, a person can have up to 2.5 grams of substances without facing consequences, but you can't you can't be a drug you dealer. You can't sell it. Right. Uh, apparently, he is charging roughly street prices with grams of cocaine and meth going for $90 and $50, respectively. They arrested him immediately. $90 for what? For this a gram of uh, cocaine. Of meth. Oh, no, cocaine. Yes, cocaine. Yeah. $90 uh, for a gram this, of cocaine. This dude runs for parliament within four years. You Guaranteed. think so? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he so. gets a slap on the wrist, and he becomes the guy. I even did an experiment in which I saw... What do you think he said when the cops arrested him? He said, this is great for my political career. It's uh, me. I thought it would have been sorry. <laughs> sorry. Uh, I apologize. Sorry. Sorry. Get out of here, Mountie. Sorry. Get your ho uh, horses out. out. Get them out. <laughs> Get them out. Get them out. Get them out. Yeah. The ho they brought the horses in. Yeah. Wait, I mean, they're Mounties. What, what are they, not mounted? Well, I don't know. The, the, the wrestler, the Mountie, wasn't on a horse. Why not? What's I mean, he, he probably against? should have been. Well, yeah. I mean, probably because of the weight of the ring. Yeah. You don't want to bring a horse in. You can't fight on a horse. Man. They should have a ring where you can fight with horses. That'd be dope. <laughs> a steel ring. Have That'd you seen? Have you seen this MMA like a uh, uh, medieval bullshit? I think so. I mean, every once in a while, like there's like fucked up versions of MMA Th that I this, see from this Russia. This popped up on my Twitter feed. We'll see if Bryce is able to find it. But it's basically it's MMA. It's in an octagon. Everybody is is there. This is the one. Look at this shit. This is so, a M1 medieval. Uh, yeah. Uh, but it's like, yeah, like swords and shields. Uh, shields. <laughs> and then they just straight up start clocking each other in the face and take each other down. Yeah, and it's like plate mail and chain mail armor. Damn. <laughs> oh, shit. That's a shield in his face. So wait, where is... It's usually Russia, right? Um, There's no way this shit is Harrisburg. <laughs> it. Uh, that's a good question. Uh because it could be anywhere, right? They do these no, fights it's, everywhere. No, it can't be anywhere. It's either Russia or Russia adjacent. I it's either, know, it's either Russia or someplace that's like Russia went look soft. At this, look at this. He, he goes hard on him. He grabs oh. his shield hand and just starts back. Oh! Oh, yeah. oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Stop the match. <laughs> Jesus. Ref. You're all right. Also, look at those mountains. This is beautiful wherever they're doing this. <laughs> Yeah, I know. It's like the gorge. It's beautiful. Yeah. Gorgeous. Somebody looked that shit up. We need to... No, it wasn't in Florida, was it? Oh, it was M1 Global Russia. I guess it's a of Russian league. Russia. Of yeah. course. It's always Russia. Sure. Like chess boxing, Russia. There was like five on five MMA things, Russia. Yeah. Slap fighting, yeah. Russia. You ever seen them slap fights? I, I'd love to. I'm not familiar. No, that was like a big thing. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. I believe you. There was the crazy Hawaiian. That was like the number one I've, dude. I've, I've, I've always heard of it, but I wish I could someday see it. Look at this. All what? Right. <laughs> okay. There's so they music. put a little powder on their hands so you can see the impact. Oh, my oh. God. And it's it's, <laughs> it's just yes. open-handed slapping. Yeah. It's it's just concussions. <laughs> Like that's it. If you if you've ever watched any kind of like no, boxing or MMA God. and you're like, this is fine. Oh, oh, oh. My God. Like, I would just like to isolate it to only the concussions. Oh. <laughs> that's what slap fighting is. Okay. Well, what was our topic again? <laughs> oh, we were talking about the drug guy. So, uh, uh, Mr. Martin is uh, out of police custody pending a court hearing. Police said uh, he's also been asked to stay away from downtown East Side in Vancouver. Um, uh, so we'll, we'll find out what happens. He, he did say, he told Vice, like, hey, when they arrest me, not if, when they arrest me, we're gonna, I'm gonna go to court about this. How much do you think he sells those signs for? Oh, he could do that too. Make an Etsy. Yeah. Hey, make an Etsy. Five, I don't know. Five you want to try and buy them? Each, Can we get in touch? Each? Yeah. Let's get in touch. Let's get in touch. <laughs> okay. We'll get in touch. Yeah. We're going to solve this. At the live show, <laughs> June 30th, yeah, Captain right. Quacks. That's right. I swear to God, we're going to remember it. Buy your tickets on Gigstan. <laughs> Gigstan is where you need to go. Download is our show app. also adults only, 18 plus, ID required, possession limit, 2.5 grams? Per drug, <laughs> per purchase, per person, no exemptions. Uh, uh, I, I don't know the rules of Captain Quacks. <laughs> <laughs> But I'll just say it this way. It's South Austin. If you're holding, no one's asking. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Uh, all right. Is there anything else? Uh, we did have one last one. Who saw this coming? This is, this is the one I'm terribly afraid is my story, and I don't know what it is. <laughs> it is, isn't it? I have no fucking idea. Bryce? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to set up what happened in the pre-show? Yeah. <laughs> what happened, Brian? I walked in and I looked around and I saw a bunch of people and I was like, they're all going to make fun of me. <laughs> no, that's not no. what happened. That's you deflecting and lying. <laughs> what happened was you walked in and you said, because we were all talking about stories we had. Yes. And you were like, I have a story. Yes. And I was like, well, do you want to tell us? Because the, the two versions of stories that we have when we do a pre-show meeting is they're stories that you should tell us now so we can help flesh it out and make yeah. sure that it has a good ending. Uh, or ones that you have so much faith in, you're going to surprise us. And we should point out that regardless of which of the two varieties, we all instantly forget what the stories are over the last hour. Sure. But at least there's other people that might remember part of it that jogs the memory that at yes. least gets the original person to remember what it was. <laughs> well, you decided it was going to be a surpriser, to yeah. which we all said there's zero chance you remember what the story is <laughs> by the time that the show is on. I all and then of we that asked, sounds pretty familiar. <laughs> <laughs> and then we asked, hey, we can set aside space for this, or we could just like. Just in case, like not even. But no, we got to spend. Like, oh, we were, uh, you know what it was? It was it was your birthday party. We surprised you. That that was what I was doing. I was being uh, coy, and and we gave you a surprise yeah, birthday party. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed the Taco Bell. Hey, I did. Thank you very much. And, uh, thank you. By for the way, party sweet. people, let me explain something. It's your old pal Brian Brushwood right here. Taco Bell don't pay for itself. We tried really hard. Mm -hmm. Turns out they don't want to do it. I they said it. we don't work for you, Brian Brushwood. And I said, Taco Bell, what if you did? And they said, but we don't. <laughs> and so we devised a foolproof plan. Ladies and gentlemen, patreon.com slash great night. <laughs> if you go to patreon.com slash great night, not only can you help save the world, one Taco Bell purchase for Bryce at a time. <laughs> and let me point out that when you order that much Taco Bell, they're not able to make it at the same time. And some of the tacos oh. are extraordinarily soggy to the point where you're just trying to fold up this weird mush into your mouth and then spraying a bunch of hot sauce on top of it, hoping that it can make you think that you didn't just eat one of the grossest fucking things you've ever eaten in your entire life. Although but that still costs money, right, Brian? Oh, heck yeah, dude. And I can confirm that of all the delicious bites of taco 
Taco Bell. The last one is the best. That's right. Justin, would you know anything about that? No. But you can help me know something about it uh, by going to patreon.com slash great night. That is where you can pay us money and get a bonus episode each and every Thursday. It's called The Bones because we were too lazy to say bonus. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon.com slash great night. I still love how long it took for you guys to get that. Bone well, that's you bone. and you skateboarding kids. You're all <laughs> fucking snorting bits and boops and, uh, yeah. and dancing to dubstep. Like, like we don't know what's going on. <laughs> Patreon.com slash great night is an anagram for Yum Brands Incorporated. Can I tell you this? Fucking, there's oh, uh, people for a live show. I think I'm going to invite. The people I'm going to offer for people who go to my 615 Orange Theory class to come. I want what? all the I want all the suburban folk who come to my Orange Theory class at 615 in the morning to come out. Uh, uh, I don't know if anyone she, will, oh. but I hope the instructor does uh, uh, because she's a young lady and she consistently refers to grunge music as dad rock. No. Okay, oh. okay, okay, okay. Oh. At which point I just turn into dust and <laughs> blow into the breeze. I'm Can not feeling so good, Mr. Stark. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to say. At which she, she'd probably say, oh, I remember that old movie. Uh. Okay, so if they're in the audience and we have, let's say, what, three, four, five of them confirmed in the audience, can we please put on uh, wicker hats and walk out with a jaunty two to go, it's gonna be a great night. Yes. <laughs> and just see how long we can keep that alive yep. before. Uh, we'll, do, uh, we'll, do, we'll do a barbershop quartet. I, yeah. I, it's a great night. Great night. <laughs> night. <laughs> Feel like we should practice. No, no, okay. No, that'd ruin it. Hey, Bryce, we got a game. We do have a game. Of course, uh, join us on June 30th at Geek Stand. Hello! Uh, yes. I got a game for you today. Uh, I have a, a, a couple of shout outs really quickly. Uh, thank you to Caitlin Gray for the idea for this game. Hat tip to uh, at Depths of Wiki on the internet. Uh, 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 Wikipedia. We love it. Right. Oh, who does it, man? It is probably one of humanity's man, greatest. Man, they've been bribing us for so long. Can't thank you enough for your corrupt media influence, Wikipedia. You're the best. Jimmy, mwah, R.I.P. Not dead. I just told him to rest. Have a good sleep. Yeah. Sleep well. He's going to make a personal appeal for you to go fuck yourself. <laughs> also, also, they're not corrupt. That was the whole bit. I mean, never mind. It's, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Wikipedia is probably one of humanity's greatest inventions among the invaluable troves of polished information is an old English language Wikipedia with nearly 4,000 articles, including pages for butt plugs, uh, the K-pop band Blackpink, and 9-11. Yep. I'm going to give you an old English the word. The big three. Big one. I'm going to give you an old English word. You got to tell me what it is in modern speak. I've also got some information for you. Closest will get the point. It's a game I'm calling Ye Oldie. What is it, Goody Player? <laughs> <laughs> well, that one, that's easy. It rolls off the tongue. Yeah. <laughs> ye, ye Oldie, what, what what's will, will, is it, is, what is it, Oldie Player? Oldie, oldie Player. Ye Oldie, what is it, Goody Player? Is it Goody Player. That's gotcha. right. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm going to bet that Bryce wishes he held on to this until June 30th <laughs> when we're doing a live show. Oh, no, I think uh, come with something stronger then. Uh, Brett, this is gonna like look like bullshit compared to that game. <laughs> look like fucking dog shit. <laughs> That's just right. a waste of fucking time compared to the awesome game he's gonna pull out on June thirtieth. Get your tickets right now, Gigstan, the Gigstan app. This is gonna be <laughs> his a birthday, fucking man. concussion. It's his birthday. It's gonna feel like you just got slapped by Bryce's that dude. Birthday. We got him. I know, I know, but but it's he's the same guy. I know, yeah. but it's just kind of. We got him up, so figure. hopped up on Taco Bell. You don't even know where he is right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in old England. Uh, so, <laughs> so I'm going to give you a, a word. Uh, I also have some information here. Uh, our, our friends over at Google Translate are going to help us with some of the pronunciation. On Good. This stuff. All right. We're going to start with uh, uh, this one here. 
Uh, ba, 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 ba. Uh, let's see. Can you can Google? Can you speak this for me? Uh, Isbera. Ah, there we go. What is Isbera? Isbera. What is Isbera? Isbera. Th- th- this is a common noun, not a proper noun. Oh goodness. <laughs> oh goodness. Uh, it is. It is the. T- it is the title of a Wikipedia page on the old English Wikipedia. <laughs> Isbera. 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 Where were you? Isbera. Isbera. It was midnight. Darkness crawled across the sky. Late, because it was due six hours earlier. (laughs) Isbera had come. Quiet fell across Mm. the land. Goblins and ghouls <laughs> close at hand. Isbera reached out to me and said, Yes, Gray. I think it's the sol- I, 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 I think it's the solstice. You're gonna say it's the solstice. Which which solstice? Summer or winter? Yes. Great. Yeah, no, pick one. You're gonna lose all of our clout with the Wiccans. Summer. Unless you pick summer. the right one. Summer. Summer. All right. The summer, summer solstice? Yeah. 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 What do you think it is? What do Is-bera. you think it is? Oh, we got a real Isbera over here. I think it's, it's, uh, 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 <laughs> hey, boo boo. I'm Isbera. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's the cartoon character Yogi, Yogi Bear. Bear? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Stealing oh, okay. picnic this baskets is- from. Jellystone Park. Yes. Okay. This is an old English word from for, Wikipedia. For you think Yogi it's a cartoon Bear. from Hanna Barbera publications? Yeah, okay. Exactly. And okay. Wacky Racers. Uh, oh yeah. He, he also did had a car in Wacky Fair Racers. Enough. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Bryce, who's more wrong? Well, uh, you know what? That'll probably be a pretty easy one. We were looking for ba 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 polar bear. Hey! You, but fuck Brian, you. Fuck the you. ranger said that your answer sucks shit. <laughs> you better eat some shit. Fuck you. <laughs> That's a point for Justin Robert. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Sunglasses. All right, we'll go to our uh, next one here, Justin. We're gonna start with you. How the on this fuck one. did you? How'd you do that, man? Sorry, man. I'm old and I'm English. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Justin, yours is ba ba ba. Milk. 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 M E O L. It's literally saying it for you. No, that actually sounds how I sell, how I uh, say. Everybody makes fun of me because they say uh, milk. Milk as milk. Yeah. I say it like with an A. That's probably. Milk. Yeah. Mal. I say milk. Yeah. Get some milk for my meal. Do you think meal. this is milk? You, you no, 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 milk? no, no, no. Milk. All right. I think that is a. I think that's lunch. It's lunch. I think it's lunch. Just uh, Brian. Milk. Milk. See, it's saying different shit. It is saying different stuff. Wait, I, I actually can't deny that that, that it, is fucked up. There's not a text-to-speech for Old English, so we're going back and forth between English and German pronunciations on those. Uh, but it's, it's look, it's good enough. Milk. Brian, what is milk? All right, all right. Listen up, y'all. We're going to play a game. When I say milk, y'all say what it means. Milk. Milk. <laughs> <laughs> Worth a shot. I think you got <laughs> you got everything you asked for there. <laughs> milk. <laughs> uh, m- milk is, uh, I believe, uh, the right of the justice system to punish those who blaspheme. So a religious, a, a, a theocratic law. No, it's just a. Just, you said the justice is to punish those who blaspheme. It's literally a theocratic law. Wait, 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 wait. wait what are you Against try- infidels. Are, are, I'm sorry. Are you trying to commit? 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 commit, commit God, I fucked it up. <laughs> Comedian. You try, you try to milk a milker? <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> yeah, it's a legal term. 
All right. We've got your answers here. You guys have said, uh, Justin said it was lunch. Yep. Brian said that it was a legal system to punish blasphemers. We are looking for <laughs> milk. <laughs> <laughs> Neil. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> That's a Justin boy. Hey! <laughs> Bro- yep. Broken clock yep. twice a day. It's uh, uh mm. That's right. Uh, Brett, what is the Let's score? Let's just say when I got a 40, Bri, I wasn't drinking Mad Dog. <laughs> I was drinking Old English. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Brett, after two questions, what is the score? The score goes to Justin. He gets two points. For Brian, he ain't got no points. Uh, That's what my daughter would say. What? <laughs> it's complicated. Is it? No. <laughs> you just they, said a, a, a non sequitur? No, they just don't respect me very much. Oh. They say I have no point. You have no point? Yeah. Or points? Like you yeah. got no points on I mean, the package? No, whatever it is, I got none of them. Yeah. 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 But wait, 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 wasn't one of the drugs, the drug volumes a point? That's right. Yeah. Point one gram. So maybe point. they were saying you don't have a point of MDMA or cocaine. In that case, that means you're a good role model. Yeah. If you want, I'll call him right now. <laughs> you don't have to do that. You don't have to. T- <laughs> that was this is the greatest moment of Justin doing comedy calculus, of figuring out <laughs> which is funnier for me to call my daughter and ask whether or not they believe I have drugs nope, or not. <laughs> that was me making eye contact with you. But through my ear, looking at Bonnie in the audience and saying, <laughs> not tonight. Nope. <laughs> All right. Price. If Bonnie was not here, you would have been calling your daughter. And then you would have been explaining to her why you made the call. All right. Uh, let's go to our next one here. Brian, we're going to start with you. Can you tell us about Hunas? Hunas. Hunas. Oh. Hunas. Uh, I remember Hunas. I remember their titties. Their titties. You're going to say, t- now why do you think it's titties? You uh, seem confident on that. Hey, grab Thor, check out the Hunas on her. <laughs> I mean, that tracks. Hunas. Uh, We're just Hunas. a couple of low brow, <laughs> middle, old English guys. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe we worked all day on the war machine <laughs> And here we are having a cold one. Oh my god. I got uh, a, a Thumbnail because of I was making the trebuchet. Yeah. The good thing. I looked at that chick's wholeness uh, 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 You know what? I feel like Justin made my case for me. Yeah, okay. I gotta yeah. say they're titties. All right, Justin uh, tell us about who <laughs> Just in as many different languages as fast as possible <laughs> It's, it, this is this is as fast as it goes. Okay. Uh, Who knows? <laughs> okay, well, uh, Polish? Who knows? Oh, oh, damn. That one was good. Who knows? That's Hindi. Bosnian? Who knows? Oh. The, no, the, just that knows? one a lot. Just, just keep playing that one as I think. Knows? Yeah, that's it. Who knows? Uh-huh. To be honest, the more who I knows? hear it, Wait the more a minute. Right I feel. Wait a minute. Hunas. Yeah, one, one or four more times. Hunas. Okay. Hunas. Oh yeah. Hunas. Honey. Hunas. It's honey. He's gonna go honey. Yep. Okay. Mister Old English <laughs> knows it. Honey. We're spreading time. around the gift to the bees. Yep. Honey, baby. Deez That's knees. for me. Yep. Here we go. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hunas! 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 Mm-hmm. We got your answers here. Brian said it was titties. Justin said it was honey. We were looking for... Huns! The Hun people. So... Oh, what's that over the horizon? Yeah. Bunch of people murdering people on uh-huh. horseback using archery. 
leaving we, the ground sticky with blood like titties. honeys. <laughs> I, I I don't know who's closer here. Uh, There's only one way to find out. We gotta ask science. science. Let me put this in the science of computer. Shh. All right, that's a Brian poll. Hey. Right. There we go. I'm not sure how. This game sucks, oldie dick. <laughs> OD. 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 That's right. All right, we'll go to our next one here. Justin, we're going to start with you on this one. Yeah. Can you please tell us about. Mire Mike One more time. All right, let me do the English one for you on that one. Uh... Mara Magden. Mara Magden. Uh, let me hear the other one. Meramegden. Meramegden sounds like something you learn about in sex ed. Yep. Meramegden. Oh, damn. But but wow. but if you clean yourself every day, you'll not have you'll to deal with. You'll not have to deal with. Oh, uh. Meramegden. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See? Yeah, no, that does track. Uh, I think it is a tsunami. You're going to say a tsunami. A big wave takes out everybody. That's what. Are, are, are you saying? Are you are you saying that because it sounds kind of vaguely like mermaid and Armageddon? Yes. Mermaid. <laughs> okay, right. Brian, you've found me out. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You have. You've. You've. You've solved me. <laughs> I'm gonna go with our original idea, smegma. It's some kind of smegma. Okay. Smegma. Oh yeah, no, no, no. I'm thinking about getting circumcised because I can't the, handle the... all of this. Oh. Mara Magden. All right. <laughs> all right. Okay. There we go. We've got your answers here. Justin said tsunami. Brian said smegma. <laughs> <laughs> we are looking for mermaid. Because it's so. A... Wait a minute. Who's closer? <laughs> Because it's in the water, it's a tsunami point. That's yeah. just it. <laughs> point to me on the mermaid where the smegma happens. <laughs> <laughs> Even on a merman, <laughs> you'd have some challenges. I, That's a was, the we're, bottom is a fish. It was, it was worth a try. Yeah. It was. Yeah. And it's in water all the time, so it should be. It yeah, should be pretty clean. pretty clean. Yeah. It Self cleaning. Okay. That cloaca. Yeah, like like an oven. <laughs> That's what they got, right? <laughs> Cloacas? Uh, yeah. There was an old tale of a seaman <laughs> fell down into the water on a dark and stormy night. <laughs> and next thing you know, he's elbow deep in a merman's cloaca. <laughs> You're not and wrong. I looked at the merman and I said, hey, get the fuck away from me. Why am I fisting you? And the merman said, oh, sorry. I ran a red light. What? Oh, no. <laughs> Your arm was just out there. And I said, hey, I mean, now that we're here, what's your name? And he said, Greg. Greg. And I was like, okay, well, I'll, I'll remove my arm slowly. And he said, well, don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> so we're roommates now. <laughs> so explain to me exactly. Yes. <laughs> so me, I'm here for you, is, Brian. Is, is it's it, me, Captain Morgan. All right. <laughs> I know it's just the two of us right it's now. It's just me and you. <laughs> is there a reason? I'm talking to you about Greg's cloaca. <laughs> so, uh... How does Greg feel? That was the strain of weed I bought from the dude in Vancouver. <laughs> <laughs> I said, give me an eighth of Greg's cloaca. Yeah. But but Greg also happens to be your roommate. Well, he was oh, for a while. Oh, he's left. Well, I mean, he lives in the water. <laughs> it was a little ambitious. We got the apartment in Vancouver. <laughs> a, a, a little amphibious? Well, that's what he thought. <laughs> Turns out he's a little more adventurous than his body would allow. <laughs> Thought he could go both ways, dry and wet. Turns out he couldn't. 
So, so, so Greg's not here. You fist a man, and all of a sudden he believes he can do crazy things. Uh, Live you, on land. Yes. Take the SATs. <laughs> sell a virtual boy. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. Sorry, listen. He had an eBay. <laughs> He had I didn't even know that you could have him underwater in the 90s, but he did. <laughs> Greg was a special merman. <laughs> um, have, you, have you kept up with him? Yes. How? Well, you know, we text. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh, he has a phone well, un underwater. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, you know, it's, it's the 90s, Brian. Everybody has a phone. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I, I, give him a, I give him a little... Text to it like a a a a, a, I, I, a, a HBD, <laughs> and H then he texts me back on his T nine, and it's great. <laughs> we have a fruitful relationship. Uh, what if you what? what if, you ever kept up with an old friend, Brian? <laughs> Haven't you ever kept up with an old friend? Text an old friend right now. Just kidding, you can't because you got fish hands. Oh. No, I'm sorry. Oh I thought you God. were Greg. No. Sorry, I thought you were Greg. No, the moment, I thought you were Greg. The moment you said that, I have suddenly have fish hands. Oh, it's no. All right, all right. Bryce? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do another round here. Justin, we're going to start with you on this one. Yeah, sure. Can you tell us about... Briu. 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 Didn't I go first the last time? Brian, why don't you tell us about... Brief. What? Brief. 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 Which one? Uh, yeah, the, the both. Yeah. <sighs> B-R-I-W. Brief. Okay. Uh, Brief is a big old nasty poop. <laughs> Brief. Yep. Brief. Yep. Yep, yep. That poop stinks. Yep, yep. Okay. Yeah, that's a good one. Yep. Dustin, what do you think about? Brief. <laughs> Just that one as many times as you can click it. Brief. 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 All right. Enough. <laughs> I think it is a... Bear. What? Yeah. Okay. What? What? Uh, what? Uh, use it in a sentence. Brew. In, <laughs> in old English. Uh. Oh, oh, ah, oh. ah! To the battlements, men. Uh, there's something afoot. Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> I'm being chased by a Brew. <laughs> Brew. This Briu is fucking huge. Briu. Eight feet tall. Eight feet. Like like Chewbacca <laughs> platforms. This fucker is gigantic, this Briu. <laughs> God damn it. I was just trying to piss in the woods and there was I was pissing on a baby Briu and <laughs> next thing you know, this big ass Briu came running out. And I was like, no, and I stayed still, but it turns out it's not a T-Rex, it's a Briu. <laughs> Uh, real quick, before I summon my men to the battlements, get the, get the <laughs> fuck on. to the battlements. <laughs> what, what, what noise? Not... What noise did it make? Come on, be honest. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, that's a Brew! Yeah! Battle stations, everybody! Battle, 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 battle stations! <laughs> Nobody survived. Uh, <laughs> I got one laugh from Bonnie on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Bonnie. You're the best. Uh, okay, we got your answers here. Justin said it was a bear. Brian said it was poop. We were looking for... Ryu is a... Porridge! Oh. Oh. Who's closer? Probably you. Science poop, 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 poop and porridge are a similar consistency. All right, after asking science... Beep, boop, 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 boop. That's a Brian poll. Yeah! Brett, what's the score after five rounds? The score looks mm, to be mm, two mm, points mm, for Brian. Mm, yeah. On his way back. Number two. We're praying for him. And uh, Justin has three points. Here we go. Yeah. Yo, anybody's game here. Uh, here we go. We've got uh, two more here for you. Two more here for you. Justin, we're going to start with you. Yes. I would like you to tell me about... I won Plaga. 
I won Plaga. <laughs> I won Plaga. <laughs> I won Plaga. Even Plaga. <laughs> In fact, if you'd like, I have a little more. In, yeah, I forgot about this, but I do have some more information about this. If you'd uh, like a little Bryce, bit of help. I'd love it. All right, here it is. Ian Plaga is spirit crape dig Plaga e hafa Bruce and deal the year siang and sare on Ian siru. Uh. A spirit sarulakin in debardnessa a man Bryce to plague in Ian Plagan hate man pledge in debardnessa. All right, Bryce knew Isra sinned had spirit talent as an Ian pledge to us. <laughs> he a sinned on Michelness Fram Hefod Spirktelend Mo Lytel Hand Spirktelend is. Endless Tomar Code Eung Plegan, Tobias Negleo Eung Plegan. Aaron Ann Folklick AC New Sinned Asinin on Nida. <laughs> All right, so now that Clear you got that, it should be easy as, easy as pie. As I won Plega. I won Plega. <laughs> Can I hear the hint one more time? <laughs> Eiungpflege ist stechend Pfleger, er hafer brusen dielt er urs jung ganz sehr auf Eiungsseru. As Birkseru licken ent Biertnesser am Mann brüch tu plegen Eiungpflegern hasse Mann plegende Biertnesser. Beis nu Isra sind hat Spirsitellen das und Eiungplektolas. Mhm. Es handelt sich um Mizenesse fram hifut Spirsitellendum oder Lütele hand Spirsitellen das. Ja. Englisch bedeutet, dass Stitties. es nicht einfach ist. I'm gonna go first. Blenden, it's titties. Aber auch Folsäure mm -hmm. ist nicht mm -hmm. auf dem neuesten Stand. Titties. Mm -hmm. Brian, please. <laughs> Trying to listen. Can you play it one more time? <laughs> no! No! Yeah. No! Eiungpfleger ist stechend Pfleger. Okay, was In fact, uh, apparently it tr it actually translated some of these words into Spanish, into German, so none of that was right anyway. All right, Ewan Plaga. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, we're going to start with you. Ewan Plaga. I think it is a birdhouse. It's a house where birds live, Brian. Yeah. You ever seen one? I, I, I they got they got a little house. Birds fly in. They eat food. They fly away. You want to know why? Birds are untamable. You know what? You can't make them live in a house. They'll fly. I think you're close. But the type of birds are boobies, and they're boobies. It's boobies. Ditties. Ditties. Dit. So not titties, titties. Not, not actual birds, but the colloquial term for. I mean, whatever. Big old, big old, big old bitties. If the poo shits. That's that so, what you're. Uh, yep. That's what you're saying. Yep. Real swingers. Big old, uh, uh, well, Headlights. Num number wang. Nope. Evil <laughs> flega. Titties. Okay. Okay. Lock them in. Lock them in. All right, Justin. Have you heard the tale of Darth E1 Plague of the Wise? <laughs> no. All right, everybody. No prequel there. jokes. All right, fine. <laughs> Fuck you. I was, Fuck I was all trying, you people. I was trying to lean no, in. No, 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 no. Yeah. I know. I, know. I, I, yeah. I was yelling for us, yeah. to them. Okay. Yeah. Fuck the audience. They, oh, they earned my score. Not you. You're priceless. You <laughs> 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 You just. <laughs> Uh, how elegant and, and artful. Just audio listeners, he, I, he just wiped his hand on me. You could no, hear, I touched you. You could hear the impact of it like a fucking meteor <laughs> yeah. strike. Like, I didn't, I didn't, I, there's nothing on here. No. Check my hand. <laughs> Check your face. I, <laughs> I, wanted to, I wanted to start licking your fingers. I realized it was a bad idea. I'm going to cut the bit off. And, uh, You're uh, right. Uh, Would have been weirder to do it in front of your wife boobies. and calling your yep. daughters yep. and asking them drugs. <laughs> 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 All right. We asked you about an even plague. I won plague. Whatever. Uh, we asked you about that. Justin said it was a birdhouse. Brian said it was titties. We were looking for Video game! Boy, I hate to be science right about now. Yeah! Well, I'm going to put this in the science computer. Sheep! Boop, boop. Boop, 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 See, the titties are screwing up the machine. It is June. All right, and... Somehow Brian got points on titties yet again. Yeah! Uh, there we go. All right, Brett, after six rounds, what's that score? The score is all tied up. Three to three. What will happen? We don't know. Something's going to happen. That's right. I'm ready for it. Yeah. Seems, seems, seems fair. Yep. That's right. 
All right, time for our last round here. Uh, it's all tied up, so Brian, we're going to start with you on this one. Ready? I would like you to tell me about... Ooh, here we go. I'd like you to tell me about... Swear Tegelhara. <gasps> Sorry? Swear Tegelhara. Swear Tegelhara. Swear Tegelhara. Swear Tegelhara. This one's easy. I haven't thought about Swear Tegelhara since... Swear Tegelhara. Yeah. Since uh, the Great War of... Swear Tegelhara. Uh, I remember... Swear <laughs> I remember King... Swear Tegelhara. Declared war. Uh-huh. And he said, I... Swear Tegelhara. Declare war. And everyone was like, oh, yes, great king. And of course, his exploits are now the common name of. Milk. Milk. <laughs> All right. No. Uh, oh, God, I got nothing on Swear Tegel uh, Hara. Swear Tegel Hara. Uh, I believe it means a uh, space mine. A space mine. Yep. Yep, it's a space mine. Like you're mining like off an asteroid or something. Ah, uh, you know what they thought they were. It turns out it was a mountain. They, but in it was space. close to the stars. What That's would why you they... call a mountain in space if not an asteroid? Uh, ugh, swear to God, Hara. Hara. Swear to God, Hara. Tell you what, with that argument, can't argue with That's it. That's all I got. Can't That's argue all with I got. The I got nothing. I got nothing on this one. Just to tell you about. Swear to God, Hara. Swear to God, Hara. Uh, yeah, swear to Tegohara. I'm gonna say that that is a submarine. Oh, okay. And that's topical. And it's not. It's not funny. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> topical. It's not funny. Yep. All right. Swear to Tegohara. Not funny. Not funny. Submarine. Can't open it. <laughs> Oh my god. One button. <laughs> Remote control. <laughs> Not <laughs> funny. <laughs> I can't laugh. No. It's not funny. Don't fucking laugh. I can't respond. Nope. I can't expound. Nope. Yeah, I'm going to stick with space mining. Okay. We'll see who's right. Very seriously. All right, we've got your answers here. We just got a disgusted. Oh. <laughs> uh, we got your answers here. Brian said a space mine. Justin said a submarine. The Swat Tegelhara Hara is actually a Blacktail Jack Rabbit. Who? Who? Who was? Who's one of us had to mathematically be? And your winner is Justin Roberts! Hey! Hey! What? what is, is that sprinkles? What is that? Is that a cracker? <laughs> it looks like he's trying to crack a cracker, but. Looks like, looks like he's about to. <laughs> <laughs> it just fucking. No, it just. <laughs> this is so <laughs> in the wrong way. Don't worry, it's gonna be great. <laughs> are you grinding pepper? What is are that? you doing? He's, he's gonna see the going joke. This fucking thing broke. <laughs> yeah. Take it apart and wave it around. All right. <laughs> hey, there we go. Piece of shit. That's Justin Robert Young, your good winner today. Hey. <laughs> good winner. Good winner. Uh, I've never been more winning. Thank you again to uh, Caitlin Gray for this. Check out Depths of Wikipedia. Uh, they post about all sorts of interesting things. If you've got an idea for a game you would like us to play on the show, you can email it to us, greatnightpod at gmail.com, or check the show notes wherever you're enjoying this fine program, or uh, join us in the Discord, discord.greatnight.tv. That is where I found this idea from Caitlin. And uh, uh, thank you to her, and thank you to everybody. Thank you. Hey, yep. June 30th, 
Yep. Uh, Swap Soundstage. Tegel Hara. <laughs> the soundstage at Captain Quacks is where you need to be. I need you to go get your tickets right now. G I G S T A N is the website and the app that you need to go. Go buy tickets. We will all be there. We got special guests. Andrew Heaton's going to be there. Of course, our crew and many, many more. Please, this is going to be awesome. We are super excited to do a live show in South Austin. Come on out. It's going to be a blast. Free, free, free air conditioning for you and me. In fucking deed. Hey, Brian. Yes. What do we learn? Uh, I, 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 that's not North. Hey, Brian. What? <laughs> what do we learn? <laughs> We've learned many things tonight. We have learned that, first, you always get a backup for Brian to remember things. Yes. Two, we've learned that though Bryce is young and lovely, Justin is old in English. Facts. And we've also learned, this is just an opinion of mine, that after hearing Hoonass so many times, as someone from South Louisiana, shouldn't we just call it the H word? Can we just call it that from now on? Mm. That's it. Mm. Uh, hot damn, dude. I'm so excited about this upcoming live show. I'm so excited, everybody here tonight. I'm so excited that it's 140 degrees at uh, 8, 18 p.m. in the afternoon. Uh, uh, shine on you, crazy diamonds. Hey, it's been a great night. It's still a great night. You <laughs> can. Masturbation night A let's get drunk and laugh tonight There's never been a greater, greater night Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program <laughs>